Will somebody please cue that boy? Samurai Pizza Cat. Oh yeah! Who do you call when you want some pepperoni? Samurai Pizza Cat. Right on! They're stepping up crime and you know that ain't baloney. They're Speedy Serviche, he's the leader of the bunch. That's right! A heck of a fighter uh, makes a heck of a lunch. Uh, and little polyester, who's never afraid of going in the battle with the bad guys in vain. Here's Guido Anchovy, a wild romantic rover. This cat gets down, down with a love hangover. Here They're so bad, they've got more fur than any turtle ever had. Stronger than old cheese. Stronger than dirt. Stronger than dirt. Who's lower than low? It's a rotten yeah, yeah, shame. Yeah. He lives in little Tokyo. We've got a nasty bad bird and some nasty ninja crows. As soon as someone finds a script, we might begin the show. Sit right back, kick up your feet, and turn the sound up high. And if you want the full effect, go eat a pizza pie. <laughs> This is Little Tokyo, a hometown like your hometown. That is, if your hometown is populated by flying cats, stalking hippos, and other cartoon characters. Little Tokyo, a city of contrasts, where incomes are high, cholesterol levels are low, everyone gets cable TV, and yet a place where quaint street vendors are still a common sight. Little Tokyo, where the old meets the new. Fresh mackerel videotape players, come and get them while they're hot! Little Tokyo, home of the national tag team Mahjong Champions, the world's third largest ball of twine, and of course, the Samurai Pizza Cat's Pizza Parlor, where you'll find the bravest heroes on Earth, the customers. Hey, lady. You serve shrimps, lady? Do we serve shrimps? Of course we do. Sure, it doesn't matter to us how short you are. Watch out, hot stuff coming through. Wait till this cheese is molded. So what? You gotta eat your greens, don't you? Pizza Cat's Pizza, home of the hot and spicy samurai sensation. You got it. Get out the cash. We'll be there in a flash. Hey, Speedy. Yeah, you rang? One tuna and liver meatball pizza for Lucille. And make sure it gets there hot. Lucille, oh, hubba, hubba, hubba. How can you make the delivery when you're flat in your back? I better take this one. Yeah, how's Hey, that's my pie. Can you believe those two guys getting all pie-eyed over a girl like Lucille? John Cats, you can't live with them and you can't throw them down a well and drown them. There really ought to be a law. Uh, I'd like to place an order if I may. We're busy. Yeah. But you men are all the same. You think we're slaves or something? I've had it with all of you. Meanwhile, trouble lurks on the rooftops where the aptly named Bad Bird spies on the unsuspecting nests. <laughs> Look at them down there, the puny little things. They look like earthworms just waiting for the early bird to arrive. Oh, this felonious feline, there are laws against pilfering pizzas. Too bad there's never a cap around when you need one, hmm? <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> well, hey, what goes around comes around. So long. Stop, that's my order. <laughs> Poor Schnook finally gave up the chase. Hey, what's going on? Moments later at Lucille's tea house. Well, my, my, look what the cat dragged in. There ain't do anything for you, Lucille. To other people, you may just be a hand-painted animated character, but you mean a lot more than that to me. Thank you. You! Yeah, I figure you deserve the best, Lucille. <laughs> you see, to me, a pizza without a flower... Oh, oh, my. ...is like a game of squash without a shower. Please accept this hot, steamy pie as a toddler token of my undying love. Guido! 
There once was a beauty named Lucille Whose pretty puss could make a pussy get real Her lovers would sigh to the heavens they'd cry Hey, what's huh? going on? What's the deal? Am I getting off of you, big pool cat? <laughs> oh, jealousy raises its ugly head, I see I'm getting tired of being an underground sensation <laughs> Listen, you Budinsky, if you think I'm gonna split the tip on this delivery, you're out of your mind! I got a tip for you, Speedy. When you've got what Lucille and I've got, money doesn't really matter. What are you talking about? Well, I mean, gosh, if you really want me to spell it out, it's called love, man. Love? My foot! Why should I love your foot? Hey! You know what they say, Guido? Two's company and three's a crowd! Well, now I've seen everything. As if the wanton destruction of the Brazilian rainforest weren't enough for you, you're the most environmentally irresponsible person I've ever met. Save that pinko pop ecology stuff for the next Greenpeace newsletter. Who's a pinko, you neo-fascist feline? Stop talking politics! Well, it's often been said that falling in love can be a mind-blowing experience. Playtime's over, Pizza Cat. It's time to let the real fireworks begin! Wow! What an incredible special effect! It's covering everything! Honey, did you leave the oven on again? Oh, dear! Could this ominous dark cloud mean lights out for little Tokyo? Scary! Never seen anything like it! Ever look in a mirror? Hey! Up there! Look. Huh? It's not polite to point, but Lucille forgets her manners for a moment because looming overhead are the glowing eyes of the most hideous creature our animators can draw! Well, let's put it this way, it's not bad. Spots the serpent's sinister secret. Darn! What happened to my pizza? Uh, ninja crows were flying a tank. Oh my gosh! So they're up to their old tricks again, huh? Yeah, and we gotta find a way of stopping them. Does this mean I don't get my pizza? At Little Tokyo City Hall, the representatives of the business community meet in an emergency session to discuss the recent rash of deadly dragon attacks. Listen, gentlemen, these unexplained attacks are damaging the economy and frightening shoppers out of their minds. We've got to do something quickly. We've got to have the courage to take the bull by the tail and face the situation. Well, now, your sales may be suffering, Big Cheese, but frankly, I've got a new line of steel-reinforced umbrellas that are selling like hotcakes. And now that folks are spending their days fleeing for their lives, there's been an incredible rush on running shoes. I've got 200 pair on back order. The city's being destroyed and all you shopkeepers can think of is profits. Think of the big picture. Oh, sales of widescreen TVs are down. Mm, enough talk. Now is the time to act, and I just happen to have a plan that will rid our city of this lunatic lizard forever. He's right. Huh? I don't agree with the rogue very often, but this time he's right. <gasps> oh. We've got to act now, and there's only one way to stop the dragon from wrecking little Tokyo. Yeah, offer it a big fat bribe. No, there's a much better way than that. Well, of course, there's another way. We could elect the dragon vice president. That way we'd never hear from it again. We need someone who'll stand up to this monster. We need samurai! What? We need the pizza cats! You need your head examined, that's what you need. We can try them. But those good-for-nothing flea-bitten feline... The only hope we have, rodent. You know the best thing about the samurai pizza? 
Pizza Cat? No, tell us, Princess Fly. They deliver! <laughs> Not wasting a moment, Big El Dente makes the decision to call for help. I'll ask the cats for a dragon to go and step on it. <laughs> they can jump all over it. Meanwhile, in a nearby pagoda, the big cheese reveals his evil treachery. This could be bad. I've invested a lot of money in this evil treachery and they could ruin everything. I doubt it, Master. Don't go getting your whiskers in a twist. The samurai pizza cats haven't got a chance against our mighty mechanical dragon. Right? You ain't whistling Dixie, daddy old. That dragon's packed with ninja crews, hungry for a fight. In fact, they're just plain hungry. They want to know when lunch is. Forget about lunch. Tell them they'll all get extra rations of birdseed once they defeat the pizza cats and finish terrorizing the merchants of Little Tokyo into submission. If you can defeat the pizza cats, the business community will probably pay you an even bigger bribe than you ever expected. To think just a minute ago, I was worried. I feel much better now. Amazing how a little profit incentive can cheer you right up, isn't it? <laughs> but there is no joy in the streets of Little Tokyo, where once again the day grows dim with doom. And once again the dreaded dragon descends to dance its demented dance of death and destruction. <laughs> this is more fun than pitching water bombs at a drowning man. Should have ordered something. Angel hair pasta or a salad. I love this job. It reminds me of piano lessons and the way Miss Schwartz made me practice kittens on the keyboard till I got it right. It's lunchtime, folks! <laughs> the Samurai Pizza Cats leap into action. Polyester, Guido and Toby, Speedy Ceviche. Samurai Pizza Cats. They're ready to fight. When you need them, just call. They know how to stop crime. Just do what they say. If you don't want a bad time, stay out of their way. <laughs> oh, I love those cats. Samurai pizza cats. The heroes who always wear fur. <laughs> Trajectory look good and our bio rhythms couldn't be better. Stand by. Attention citizens of Little Tokyo. They're off on a mission to save the whole city. Quite an achievement if you are a kitty. Kaboom! Meanwhile, as our high-flying heroes race to the sea, the mechanical dragon's orgy of destruction continues! <laughs> Go ahead, make my day! Worm breath! What? Who said that? Three guesses, bird brain. We'll give you a hint. We're the stars of this cartoon. You guys! Well, you're too late this time! We spoke to the producer! There's plenty of time left in the episode! What? Now they tell me! Sorry, Chicken Licket. When the going gets tough, I like to play rough. I'm Guido Ancho. And I've got no match when it's time to scratch. You can call me Polyester. Love ya! I'm the only cat in this show who doesn't know how to rhyme. Speedy Survey J at your service. Samurai Pizza Cats! Holy hell! 
trombone. I haven't seen such a cheap theatrical entrance since junior high drama class. Only there, the costumes were better. Kill the dragon! <laughs> Chicken, what do you say? Okay, you got it. The Samurai Sunspot Umbrella. When Guido fires it up, you know the pizza cats are really cooking. That pun was horrible. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of turning up the heat on crime, but this really bakes the cake. If you're taking orders, Guido, I like my bird a little crispy on the outside. Yeah, but watch out for a heartburn. <laughs> Everything looks so easy, it embarrasses even me. Not so fast, my fine furry fink. I still have the dragon legs. Attack! Dragon legs, huh? You better see a doctor about that. Speedy prepares to make like a foot surgeon by calling on the mystical powers of his magical ginjo sword. Carefully withdrawing the patented self sharpening blade from its sheath. He's ready for action. He's ready for danger. He's ready to accept the coveted Emmy Award for the best stupid pet trick. Wielding his blade like a surgeon's scalpel, he lets out the inspiring cry. It's time to walk! Oh, wait! Uh, you missed, you little. Uh oh. Uh, what a mess! Well, you're gonna have to clean it up. Come on, time to do our pose, guys. Get the big cheese's elegant rat hole. No, I won't lose my temper. I won't. I won't. Got to stay in control. Stay in control. That's right, master. It's time right to channel that negative energy. With peace once again restored to Little Tokyo, we bid a fun farewell to the Samurai Pizza Cats, the cats who always land on their feet. <laughs> yeah. On the next... Pizza Cats! Those pizza-pushing pussycats get indigestion. When the big cheese unleashes his sushi-making monster and gives the people of Little Tokyo an order to go. Oh. Oh. Sashimi so later. I'm out of here. Oh. There's danger on the menu. Oh, well, someone say lunch? But I'm allergic to soy sauce and rice makes me sneeze. <laughs> Somebody get me out of here. There's love in the air. There's pigs in the pizza parlor, and there's antic action that'll blow your mind. No. Keep a firm grip on your ginjo sword, because fast food has never been so furious. <laughs> on the next Samurai Pizza Cats! The cats who always land on their feet! Ladies and gentlemen, the Samurai Pizza Cat Fan Club Oath! The pizza cats are samurai, and I'd like to note... Their antics take your breath away. Like fur balls in your throat. We kittens are a special breed. We never call a retreat. Whenever Big Cheese knocks us down... We land upon our feet. 
So hail to thee, O Pizza Cat. Please ring your little bell. Although you may be pen and ink, we know you'll fight like Pizza Cat! Hope you like the show, it's the best that we could do. Come on, right, it's a guess. If you could do better, then we'd leave it up to you. Just a reminder, you might like to know, the cats will be back for another big show. <laughs>